Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Tatenda. I am currently a data science and AI research fellow at University of Tübingen in Germany. My research makes use of eye tracking data and combines this with computer vision for further analysis. So I promised on LinkedIn that I will do a day in the life video but i haven't been working from my office because i've had to take a blog course for two weeks it's a course on a topic that is related to my project so i recorded some um a few videos and i took some pictures so i thought i'd share them with you i recorded on two days of the first week so i thought i'd share um some of the activities that we did throughout this course so since the blog course the structure is that the lectures are full day lectures and we had so we had the theory or lectures in the morning and then the practicals in the afternoon so that's me walking to class So I can't show much from the lecture because I was trying to focus and also I hadn't asked for permission. So yeah, so now moving on to the practicals, I'm just going to give a short introduction to eye tracking. Eye tracking basically is about recording the movement of the eyes whilst a person or an animal is doing a certain task. So it's not just for people but also for animals because the number of people have been doing eye tracking on animals. So there are many ways of recording the movement of the eyes and also many different methods of capturing and recording this information. There are different types of eye tracking devices as well. Some can be head mounted, so it's something that is on your head and then the cameras are coming down and looking at your eyes. And then some can be in form of um, glasses so they can be like smart glasses that have cameras when you wear them they can be recording your eyes or also you do a certain task and then some can be static so you either put it on a stand or you can put it at the bottom of your screen or attach it to your like your desktop or your laptop so that you stay still whilst you record yourself um, doing a certain task so for this course we used the mobile eye trackers in form of glasses and we also used the static ones, the ones that you can place um, at the bottom of your screen and record yourself whilst you do a specific task. So that is me trying to conduct an eye tracking experiment. And the task of this session was to be able to set up and to calibrate the eye tracker. The idea behind calibrating is that you know where to sit because you can't just sit anywhere. You need to be sitting in a position that is at a uh, good distance for the eye tracker to be able to record your, your eyes. And also it needs to test if it's recording your eyes correctly. Well, so <laughs> I tried to do it and record it at the same time and it didn't work. So yeah, sorry guys, you can't really see me while I try to do the, the calibration. But yeah, you can see the results of the calibration. So this is Thursday, we were given a task and this is the task and that's the eye tracker that we were using. It's a, an eye tracker by a company called Pupil Labs. So the eye tracker for Pupil Labs, it also works with these tags where well, you can do the eye tracking with or without but you can use um, these tags that we're making. To, I, to like sort of just map an area that you're interested in. Um, of 
interest is the position of your eyes so the results will show you something like this these are also some of the experiments other groups did So yeah guys, this is what we were doing in the course. So after the lecture, I went to a university tour of the old town of Tübingen. Tübingen is the city where I am. The university organized um, a tour for some of the international students and researchers. Thank you guys for watching.